Look, I'd like to be known as a person who's genuinely interested in trying to solve problems for members of the community. I'm not there for the fame or the glory. Um, I'm there to try to work to solve problems that people experience in daily life and to make their lives a bit better. I stand for a community based on solid traditional values. Um, I come from a basis of a strong Christian faith myself and um, a real commitment to family life. And I want people in the community to have the benefits of those things in, in the way the state supports them uh, in raising their own families, in building a better future for their kids, and in being able to enjoy a better life than the previous generations had. And if I can do that in a context where the state supports the, the values that families support, then I feel I will have helped achieve something. Right, there are some specific promises that we have made, and foremost among those is building the North West Rail Link. Barry O'Farrell has made that a top priority commitment, and that really benefits people in the Red Eastern Electric, particularly the southeastern part of the Electric, which is Glenwood and Park Lane, Stanhope Gardens, and Kellyville Ridge. Those suburbs will directly benefit from the building of the North West Rail Link. They'll be able to access the city without having to fight the traffic through the M2. I've also uh, been able to get an announcement from our Shadow Minister for Education that we'll start planning immediately for a new high school in Stanhope Gardens to serve the rapidly growing suburbs of Stanhope Gardens and Kellyville Region and Ponds. And many people there have asked me to make sure that high school happens. So I'm really happy to be able to tell them that the planning will commence immediately after the election if the Liberal Government is elected. We'll also work hard to ensure that the uh, Richmond Road is upgraded. Uh, we've committed to replacing the old Windsor Bridge up in the northern end of the electorate and I'm going to work hard to solve the problems at Riverston where the, the intersection of uh, the level crossing of the railway line is a real bug for the local people. There's nothing wrong with the building in Epping Parramatta Link, it's just that the more urgent need is in the northwest where there is no rail link at all and no, no public transport capable of moving the vast numbers of people out there. The inner suburbs um, certainly have their needs and there's, there's a good project in building the Epping, Epping to Parramatta Link, but they, those areas are relatively better served by public transport than the northwest is at the moment and therefore we've given priority to that other project first. Later on. Yes, we will build it later on. Um, I can't give you a definite time frame on that because we'll prioritise projects through what we call Infrastructure New South Wales, which will be a, a panel of specialists in various fields to do with civil engineering and financing and, and infrastructure, who will we'll rank the needs and the benefits um, to the community and give advice to the government about what all the projects should proceed in. So the Epic Paramount Week will go into that. Um, that pool and be prioritised by infrastructure in New South Wales. But it certainly still is on the agenda and it will happen. I expect from the Indian community that they will look with new eyes at the Liberal Party because I think many in the past have, perhaps without too much um, thinking and study, simply voted Labor because that's what the community seemed to do and uh, seemed to be expected of Indians. I think now that a lot of Indian people have said, well, hang on a minute, there are two stories here, two sides of the story anyway, and we should have another look. And perhaps the Labor Party hasn't served us as well as we thought, and perhaps the Liberal Party has more to offer than we ever realised. And so I'd expect the Indian community to really think hard and engage with the political process. And I know you come from a country that has a democratic tradition, so people will, I think, weigh up their options and perhaps be more critical and discerning in future about who they support. In terms of um, what I can do for the Indian community, I would be expecting to engage, to learn and to understand more about their needs so that like any other section of the community, I can help people with Indian background to build a better life for themselves and their families in Australia and I can help them meet their aspirations by um, helping them find their way through government bureaucracies and agencies and various rules that, uh, that people in ordinary walks of life sometimes don't normally deal with but which a politician can help with.